Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I've got a really good tip for you on Carolina rigs, and it's something that's taken me from not being a huge fan of a Carolina rig to being a pretty big fan and one that has one tied on the majority of the time I'm out on the water. Before I get into it, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, guys, if you haven't done so already. By doing that, you'll get entered into my monthly prize drawing giveaways for sponsor products. And at the same time, if you're looking to buy tackle, head on over to my description, click on the link to therealshot.com. They're a local tackle shop here in Wisconsin that has a great selection of items. And if you use the discount code STEFAN10, S-T-E-F-A-N 10, you'll get 10% off your order. It helps the channel out. It helps the local shop out. And it's a win-win-win for everybody. So, guys, getting to today's tip, I want to talk about the Carolina rig. Living here in the North Country, you know, we have a lot of really, really good multi-species fishermen. The walleye is kind of the king of the area. Most anglers love chasing walleye. Uh, bass popularity has gotten significantly greater over the last couple of years here in Minnesota and Wisconsin and the upper Midwest. But I feel like walleye is still king. And one thing I'll say about the walleye guys is they've got a lot of really good uh, rigging contraptions for live bait rigs or for fishing plastics on the bottom whether it's a lindy rig or a spinner rig there's lots of different trolling tactics that they use and most of those guys are really good multi-species fishermen because they take those walleye tactics and they revert them over to other species including bass and one of the things I learned from a really good walleye fisherman up here was to utilize the Lindy No Snag Slip Sinker for my Carolina rigs. So what is the No Snag Slip Sinker? Well, there it is, guys. It is not a typical egg sinker or barrel sinker that you would use on a Carolina rig. And I'm sure some of you hardcore Carolina rig fishermen out there are going to question me on this. But hear me out, guys. It's really This really does work well. So the key to this bait and it's set up the same way you would tie a normal Carolina rig. So in this case, I've got my weight. I put a bead to protect the uh, to protect the knot and kind of give a little bit of color, a little bit of clacking noise. You've got your swivel, and then you know you've got your bait. This is a short leader just for the video. In this case, this is a Berkeley Pit Boss, one of my favorite baits for a Carolina rig. But we're concentrating right now just on the weight itself. So. A normal egg sinker or Carolina rig weight that you would use does not come through snags really well. You'll get stuck a lot of times, especially if you're fishing rock or you're fishing around brush. When you pick up this Lindy no snag weight, what happens is it, it almost becomes uh, like a bottom walker, which is a walleye tool again. But what happens is that weight just slides along the bottom. Instead of dragging like this and having your line down on the bottom, it'll, it'll keep your bait up off the bottom and just walk along the bottom as you're dragging it. That will come through rocks and wood so much better than your typical uh, Carolina rig weight. By doing that, it, it's keeping your bait up off the bottom. So you're not getting stuck, but you're also not gonna damage your line nearly as much as you would when the when the weight's holding it right on the bottom and your line's dragging basically in front of it. In this case, you've got about a three inch separation that's gonna keep your line from getting damaged. So that's also a really good key. The other thing that I really, really like about this no snag weight is I get much, much better sensitivity out of the bait. So that's one of the concerns always with Carolina rigs is you don't get good feel of the bait. You don't feel the fish bite the bait a lot of times. And that, you'll still have that issue with this, but I feel like I feel the bite so much faster with the system because instead of having a big weight holding my line down, now the only thing that that weight touches on my line is just, you know, the eye that it, that it goes through. So you don't have the same resistance on your line by this weight. So when a fish grabs it and starts sliding, the weight I feel like slides much more freely down your line, which translates into better sensitivity through your rod and as an angler. So you'll feel the bite a lot faster, which means 
you're not missing as many bites. And it also means the fish aren't being gut hooked as much as they would when you don't feel the bite. So there really are a lot of positives to using this no snag weight when you're out Carolina rig fishing. I do want to point out though, that you can put this weight on wrong. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but if you put this on in reverse, which I'll do right now, uh, I did, I put it on right a second time. So if you put it on in reverse, it won't be as, so if you've got the tip pointing towards you or away from your bait, when that walks on the bottom, it's gonna wanna get stuck and get hung up and that little, that little wire coming out will wanna dig into everything. So you do wanna make sure that when you put this on, that you have the point of the weight, the curvature pointing back towards the bait. Because as long as that's happening, that weight will just glide right over whatever it runs into on the bottom. Really, really a neat little tool. Uh, again, it's something that's kind of been taken from the walleye world and I've translated over into the bass world and it's improved my Carolina rig fishing drastically. Like, I mean, it really took it from something that I didn't enjoy doing to something that I really depend on now when I'm fishing tournaments. So guys, check them out. I don't have any affiliation. It's the Lindy No Snag Slip Sinker, a great tool. Uh, you know, you can use it. Guys use it for trolling. Guys use it for uh, Lindy rigs, drift fishing, all different types of things in the walleye world. But you can translate it over into the bass world, put it onto your Carolina rigs, and I think you'll be really impressed with how well it works. So give it a try, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you did, like it, share it on social media, and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. More tips and tricks coming out tomorrow.